guys and welcome to my first ever video and today this isn't going to be a gaming video like I usually will be this is going to be help for some people but if you do like gaming please look at my channel I do lots of gaming videos well I will be at the moment I haven't started but I have I haven't started giving videos out to the public yet but I am recording them I will be giving, taking them out to the public soon, but I just need to get a good amount of videos first. Okay, but to start off, I would like to introduce you guys to Cheaper, the reason why you're probably at this video. Now, as we all know, Cheaper is a sunbird, a olive-backed sunbird. As you can see, you can hear him up in the tree. I can't find him at the moment. But early on today, we saw his parents, so we've let him go off to his parents today. Now, at the moment, he, he used to be over at that house over there, but now, since he's old enough, he can fly around by himself. Well, with help from his parents. But we're just locating him at, well, I'm just locating him at the moment. Now, where is he? Hmm, I wonder. I can hear the cheep. There he is, right in there. Now, I don't think you can see this, but he is there. Now, what I'm going to try to do is nice up and close with him again. Probably for the last time. So if I can get down. Sorry, guys. There. Now, as you can see, he's just around here. Where did he go? Mr. Cheaper. Okay, Cheaper, where are you? I can hear him, but I can't see him. Oh, there he is. There's Mr. Cheaper. There's Mr. Cheaper. There's Cheaper up there. Right there. Now, he's a little baby chick at the moment. If I can get nice and close to him, might be able to get him down here. I can't get too close, but as you can see, that's cheaper there. Now, I'll be teaching you how you can look after them for a nice period of time. I looked after cheaper for about eight days now. So, yeah, this is the time when I say goodbye to cheaper here. I've been with him for eight days, but they've been the best eight days of my life, and I hope you can enjoy eight days or more days with your bird too. Now, if I continue over here, we just need to hop out. Hop out. Trying. Okay. We're out, guys. Say bye to Cheaper. Bye, Cheaper. Have a good day. Now, if you have found a little baby, well, I don't advise you to put it into a room with screen window and let it chirp for a little because the parents are probably trying to find it. Like us, we found our little cheaper down here, right next to this banana tree. And we ended up taking him down, but y yesterday morning, something really amazing happened while we were making up his food. He went over to a screen door and started cheeping the loudest that, he's could, that he could. And do you know who he called? His two parents. So, yeah, that's what we've been doing. We've been trying to get the parents to um, feed him through the cage. Now, this morning, I was letting him have a little fly in my room when the window was open. And he flew out the window and I retrieved him once then twice but then the, 
Then the female parent came down and she had some food. But she didn't feed it. She lured him out of there and then fed it to him. And then suddenly they both flew off, off into those trees up the back there. And he's been there ever since this morning. Now, if I show you, this is what I've been feeding him for the last three days. Some waru mix for lorikeet and honey eaters. You can also use, um, you can also use, uh, I think it, I don't know why it's all dark. I'm going to turn on the light here. Why is it so dark? I don't know why. Um, I need to take it out into the light then, it seems. Oh, there. Sorry about that. It's probably pitch black for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need to get some wom Wombaru mix for low-key honey eater food. Or you can have honey. But that won't suffice for too long. You're going to need to get some protein into your bird. I wouldn't advise catching insects, but that's probably your last resort. And go to your local vet to ask what you can feed it. Now, for me, for the um, for feeding, I use a one milliliter syringe and feed it four times a day. The last time that I fed it yesterday, I was feeding one and a half mil. And that's when it's about, when it has no downy feathers and it's only, only downy feathers on its belly, I meant. Now, as you can see, this only goes up to one mil, which you'll need to feed your bird. Now, I fed him one and a half mil yesterday, as I said, but usually feed him one mil that's how we started off, only one mil. Ask your vet as well how much, depending on what your bird, what your bird stage is. Now, once you've done that, try and get a cage and put it next to a window or door, or just let him flying around, fly around the house like our other bird named Apollo. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, but I think you might like him. He's an Indian ringneck. We're not sure whether he's a boy or girl yet, but we think that he's a boy. Isn't that right? Isn't it right? Uh, we're not sure. We're not, we don't know how to stop him from biting. So if you've got any ideas on how we can, um, like as you can see, he'll go for my finger now. Probably. Yeah, see? Um, he has done some really bad bites on the ear, but nothing too much. But yeah, he flies around the house. This is like his area. But I'll go into where the honey eater's food is in just one second. Now, if you get waru mix, you will find, I mean wombaru. We're just gonna call the waru mix. But yeah, um, see this here? This here is what you'll have to scoop. You do a third of this with 13, um, 13 millilitres of water. Mix that around and then uh, suck up as much as you need using your syringe out of it. Also, if you want your bird to have uh, as a treat or something, if you're going to be training it and like the parents are killed or something, use this here. I use natural bush honey, but you can use any local honey. It's probably the nicest for them. And yeah, I, I advise having one, um, um, having a, an eighth honey to, and the rest water. Um, ple uh, some birds don't like tap water, so you can use any water, but I'd advise using bottled water because um, tap water has a different taste to birds. Anyway, continuing, oh, have a look at our Christmas tree. Um, if you've got your Christmas tree up at this time, birds love, birds love being in them. So, yeah, you can put them in if you want. But, yeah, if I continue, I'll go into where the honey eater was for these last three days. In here, as you can see, we have the cage door open because, well, we took out the nest and everything which we made ourselves. But, yeah. 
he f he flew out onto there with his mama, and then they flew off to that other spot, and that's been pretty much this day. Now, if I if you look here, as you can see, um, you don't need toys or anything really, just a cage where he can't fit out of. Depending on the age of your bird, they may, you may need to make your own cage out of um, chicken wire, but this one here was Apollo's cage when we got him. Anyway, so as you can see, um, you don't need anything that complicated, just something like that. Oh, also, you need to make, make the mix, the feed, with boiling water. And if you don't, then, well, you're kind of um, not in good hopes of feeding a bird because it will be all clumpy and we don't want that. So I'm going to quickly, does this have water? Oh, I'll fill it up a tiny bit. So I'm going to fill this up and I'm going to sh demonstrate how we make this because I, I've got nothing to do with the mix now, but maybe the bird might come back when he's older, but I'm not sure. The parents, once when we first found him, we brought the bird outside to, bring, to let the, bird, the parents um, get the parents um, go to their child. But um, my mum, she had the bird on her finger, and the male, kid you not, hopped onto her finger to try and uh, to um, see the bird. Lots of people say that um, people who have been in this house have been very interactive with um, olive-backed sunbirds. So, yeah, that's probably the reason why. I'm just going to put that on the boil while I make up the mix. So you'll need to start off with having two containers. One of them just small and the other one, you know, just small. It, it, you don't need much unless you're feeding like a really big bird. But, um... I'm going to, oh, uh, I might make it up in one of these tiny glasses. There we go. Now, as I told you, it's hard to do this with one, one hand, but um, you want to uh, just get a third. Now, if I can open this, yep, done. You'll just want to get about that much there. As you can see, that's not that much. So about a third. See? And you'll put it into one of your glasses. There. Now I've got a 5 mil teaspoon, so I, I'm... I use um, two of them, but um, sometimes I use three if I'm making a, if if it's at the start of the day. Now it's nearly boiled, so we're going to. I'm just going to stick this back in, but um, you don't want it too hot, so that's pretty much good, and it's already boiled, so it works out perfectly. But yeah, so you pour it all. Well, not all of it. You only need about that much. Stick it back over at your kettle. And just get, well, I've got a 5 mil here, but 30 mil with a third of that, or um, one, or um, 2.5. If you've got a 2.5 milliliter spoon, use that as well. So we're just going to go one, Two and a little bit extra. I may try and feed this to the birds in another episode, but I don't know. Our bird Apollo, he does he's a bit scared of it. Now, since it's boiling water, you just need to suck it up. This is nearly impossible. That's Apollo there. Um, just one sec, guys. You go have a look at the pleasing bird there. Just going to suck up this all. So you've got one mil. We'll see whether Apollo's hungry. 
He hasn't. He's re, he's reluctant to feed from me. Oh no! Off the TV. Off the TV. You're not allowed to eat from the TV. Have a taste of this. Have a taste of this. Have a taste. It's nice. It's nice. Come on, Apollo. Good boy. Do you want some more? Well, he ate that one meal quick, but your honey eaters, um, he'll, if you've got one like this with the nib on the end, as you can see with that nib, if you've got one like that, what you'll need to do is wait for him to finish half or more of the nib and then just push it down here and then squeeze it until the contents is at the end of the, um, of the, oh, I forgot the name of these, this thing here. But yeah, you'll, I, I'll just show you with this here, just quickly. See, look, I've sucked this up. Oh, look, my birds. See, look, my birds had that much there. I wonder what I'm going to do. Wait, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it down on my leg and I'm going to press down. And then you'll get back to the front. And then you can feed it more, and then it'll go again. So, yeah, over and over. But I advise with the baby honey eaters, just to get in the freezer for six seconds if you're using boiling water after mixing up the mix. So then it cools it down to the proper temperature. Anyway, so let's continue over into my room. Now, I don't want this whole entire video to be devoted to the bird, but, yeah. Anyone who's been watching about about the bird in this video, I hope that you enjoyed. Um, like this video if it helped and comment down whether you've got any other problems. I'll see whether I can help with that. Anyway, anyone, any people who are part of my gaming channel who are watching this just because they feel like it, I'd like to show you this game. Well... We're going to play a game, I think. I don't know. Oh, uh, it's been 17 minutes. Oh. Uh, well. Oh. Uh, I can show, show you some of my art if you want. I can do an art video. As you can see, the dragon on my... Um as my um, icon is my, is I drew that on the computer. But um, this one here is for my dad. I have put this in a frame now, but if you want, I can do a video on drawing dragons or monsters or whatever. Some people might want me to do that. I can also do skulls. I tried to do Apollo, it's not very good. Um, I did that one. And here are a couple, which I spent a couple of hours on this one. This one took about six hours. This one here took me about three. Um, that one's a fail, that one's a fail, that one's a fail. I tried to do a horse. It's not very good, but it's all right, some people say. Um, I tr I've done a wolf and another wolf there. That, that wolf there doesn't really look very good. But, yeah, that's pretty much all my drawings at the moment. But if you want, you guys can uh, tell me whether you want me to do any more videos. I'll have a go at that. Anyway, um, for my gamers, what would you like me to do? What games? Also, um, I can do any free games. Any free games at all. So if you if I can do that, that'd be great. So yeah, much appreciated if you comment and subscribe if you like my videos. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, 
give me an idea for my intro and outro because I've got no idea. Anyway, I've been Max and I'll catch ya. See you guys.